Hey, what's up everybody? Here's another water comparison video. Tonight we're comparing these two waters. First up is Alk Aqua. Next up is Gontan Natural Mineral Water. And the interesting thing about these two waters is these are both from Beijing, China. One of my viewers of this channel, Ian Zuto, went on a trip to China and he collected some waters and he brought them back and mailed them to me and I'm reviewing them. And there's uh, some other waters I'll review in the future which are in that box right there. Big thanks to Ian for doing this. Ian has a water channel of his own called Ian Drinks Water. I highly recommend you check it out and subscribe to Ian. These, this was an interesting challenge researching these because I don't speak Chinese. I can say thank you. It's shishi ni, I think. But that's, that's the only Chinese I know. And these bottles are all in Chinese. All the information on the internet is in Chinese. I apologize in advance if I get any information wrong about this. I mainly used Google Translate. You take a picture of the bottle with the Google Translate app and it's supposed to translate the words, but I don't think it gets them all correct. Right now, China is the third largest consumer of bottled water in the world, and they have thousands of brands. And uh, Ian says that these are some of the most popular brands over there. When I was researching this, I found out there is another water company called Alk Aqua in California. And the one in California is called Alk Aqua because it's supposed to be alkaline and it's short for alkaline. And the interesting thing about this water is, well Ian sent me multiple of them so I can do these waters in multiple rounds. And the interesting thing is it comes in multiple colors. See? The label is different colors. And at first I opened the box and I thought, oh this must be one still and one sparkling or multiple flavors or something like that. Turns out these are both the same exact water they're just different colors like if you look at the UPC symbol on the back it's the same number all the information on the bottle is the same they're just the same water they're just different colors Nestle Pure Life does a similar thing where they put different colors on different bottles so I guess it's like if you're at a party and you set one down you know it's yours because it's this color so it's it's like an interesting thing I think it's pretty cool that they do that Shui. 占身体的百分之七十，不是我爱夸，百分之三十靠颜值，百分之，我是觉得，it's are six yuan. It's about ninety U.S. cents. It's pretty reasonably priced. I went on a trip to China around episode 3000 and I was pretty surprised by how inexpensive the stuff was. Like I went to the Great Wall of China and normally when you go to a tourist attraction normally you would expect the prices to be really high but I bought a bottle of water at the Great Wall of China and it was like 40 cents or something. 40 US cents. And that's just shocking to me. Normally if you go to like I don't know, the Grand Canyon or Disney World or something, you're gonna pay multiple dollars in, in the United States for a bottle of water, but it's cool that in China, everything is pretty inexpensive. I was looking at the website that uh, has reviews of this, and a website for this had nine reviews of this that were all five stars. All the reviews were exactly the same. They all said just the word good. So I'm guessing the website that had reviews for this were fake in some way. The bottle itself is very simple. It's like a smart water type of shape bottle and it's very just minimalist, very simple. You might think, oh, this is so simple. How can this be the whole label? Well, actually, if you look in the back of it, there's more information. If you look through the bottle, there's uh, nutritional information through the bottle. And um, it's kind of hard to read, actually, even no, it's in Chinese and I can't really read it anyway, but it's still hard to read. All right, next up is the Gontin Natural Mineral Water. The design of this bottle is very unique never seen anything quite like this. It looks like it was almost designed by aliens. Like it's like very like futuristic design. This looks like the kind of bottle that I would see in like the movie Transformers or some sci-fi movie from the future. It, it almost looks like if you spray painted this whole bottle silver, it would be like, you know, a Transformers 
energy pod or something that you would like stick into a computer and twist and it would give the computer energy or something. It's like just such a unique design. And um, there was a website that was just was describing this bottle and they said you could uh, you know reuse it and use it as a flower pot. And they said you could just stick the bottle on a shelf and use it as decoration. I thought that was kind of interesting. When I was Googling this water, an article that kept coming up was about an Australian tennis match, the Australian Open, where people were really mad that they were selling this water. People in Australia felt like they should have been selling Australian water, and they were just really pissed off that um, they were selling a Chinese water at this Australian event. Is that where it's from? Uh, huh? Australia. China. Are you kidding me? What happened to Mount Franklin? What do you think of the fact that you bought Chinese water at the Australian Open? It's a disgrace. I'm embarrassed. I'm not happy, Jan. Why not? <laughs> because I don't think it should be coming from China. They should be selling Australian water here. Aussie water. That's what we should Aussie have. water. Which is weird to me. Like, why is that news? Why, why would people care enough to write a news article about that and interview people about this? Like, why would they care enough about that? Um, when I go to the store, probably half the stuff at Target and Walmart, or if not more, are from China. Like, it's not weird to us to buy stuff from China. Why would that be news that they were selling Chinese water? Google Translate, I think they described this water as 200-year-old mountain drinking water. And I'm not really sure what that means. Like, isn't all water millions of years old? <laughs> Does it just mean it was in that location for 200 years? Or what does 200 years old water mean? Um, but I think that this is water that's from inside the earth, which is good. That tends to be water that I like. And um, let's just open these up and do a taste test. And I've only got two of these, so I'm only going to probably drink half of the water. Just because if one of these makes it to you know, round three or four, I want to have some left to do a comparison of it. No smell. Pretty similar to uh, Smart Water. It's pretty similar. Okay, now let's do the pH test. They both look pretty acidic to me, but I'm colorblind, so you guys look at the chart yourself and decide for yourself what color you think they are. To me, they both look like about a six. Yeah, they're both really good, really pure, no bad aftertaste, no strong chemical plasticky taste to it. Um, but I would say that this has more of like a mineral taste to it, uh, and this has more of just a water taste to it. I'm going to say in my personal opinion that this one is the winner. This one just tastes a little bit more like water to me for some reason. So I'm going to finish this one up. I mean, not bad at all, definitely. I would be happy to drink this water any day, and it's a cool, you know, design for a bottle. The Alk Aqua is moving on to the next round. Um, when I was in Beijing, I think I saw mostly Dasani, like, all over the place. I had some in the airport, and I think Nestle Waters. I wish I had stayed in Beijing for longer and just tried more waters and more stuff when I was there. I was only there for a couple days, and um, yeah, it's nice revisiting it with some of their water. And you know, big thanks again to Ian for sending me these waters. I wish I knew Chinese so I could read the label and get more information to tell you guys about it. <clears throat> if any of you guys want to send me some waters I haven't tried yet, I'll be happy to. Um, and thanks for watching, and congratulations to Alk Aqua.